and we are recording HJ Unboxing. Firstly, with this video, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's liked, subscribed, shared all my videos. We've now just gone over 100 subscribers, which may, in the great context of things, not be a massive number. But for me, um, I've been doing this now for a couple of months and just started. And I really appreciate it's, it's a big number for me to really get those numbers. So I really appreciate all the love and support people have given me. There's a lot of support people have given me doing these videos. So, yo, I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you very much and keep doing so. I'm going to keep trying to produce content for you guys. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you for that. And yo, from this video, we're going to be doing a short breakdown on the fight happening tomorrow night in um, Miami, where you've got Demetrius Andrade defending his WBO middleweight championship against Britain's Liam Williams. And this fight, I think, is a very good fight, you know. I think this is a fight where I think Liam Williams may not be getting the credit in, in terms of the American perspective of, it, of, of sides of things, but he's a credible name for, for Demetrius Andre, in my opinion, when you compare what Demetrius has fought in the last three or four fights, you know, it's for Arthur Okavav, the Russian lad, he fought um, Walter, the Nabian guy who was poor, you know, he fought, um, obviously, Selecki's a good opponent, um, he's fought um, Luke Keeler was his last fight, you know, these guys aren't really well titled, credible fights, in my opinion, these are guys handpicked from the WBO rankings, they're not big names, you know, and that's the thing with Demetrius Andre, he needs a big name sort of fight, and I think this sort of fight, it may not be the big names in the division, like your Golovkins, your Charlos, it's still a very good name, a British guy, and Liam Williams, who He's really gone up the rankings, you know, and starting with him as a challenger, he's really shown that he, he's, he's up near that world kind of level, European level for me in terms of what he's done at middleweight is superb in terms of the way he's knocked people out. I think he's had seven fights at middleweight, seven knockouts, you know, starting with the Mark Heffron winning at domestic level, winning the British title. That was a very good win, very good stoppage where a lot of people picked against him. A lot of people were having Mark Heffron in that fight. Liam Williams had different ideas, knocked out Joe Mullinder, who obviously isn't a, a world level guy like Demetrius Andre, but he's a British, stroke British English level guy. I was at the fight at the Royal Albert Hall and I just saw an absolute violent performance. You know, I saw an absolute destruction. Obviously, Joe Mullinder had never been stopped before and he got absolutely destroyed. You know, that was violent how he knocked him out. And then you look at the other names, you look at the more established names he's beat um, in, in the middleweight division, like your Ah Oka. The Frenchman who went the distance with David Lemieux, he got absolutely iced by Liam Williams. Atlantis Fox, of course, who they both share a similar, they both share a common opponent, him and Demetrius Andre. He got absolutely destroyed by Liam Williams, went the distance with Andre. So that just shows that Liam Williams has got power. He's got serious power at middleweight and he's knocking everyone out. And he'll be very confident, you know, he'll, he will never be more confident going into a world title fight. Now, he's really come on leaps and bounds since his two defeats to Liam Smith. In my opinion, he's the most improved fighter in Britain, you know. Obviously, you've got people who argue kind of Ben. I think Maxi Hughes is another one that's come up leaps and bounds. But I think um, Liam Williams has really shown, in my opinion, that he's the most improved fighter in Britain. And he definitely warrants a world title fight. In my opinion, though, this is a very difficult stylistic fight for Liam Williams because I think Demetrius Andre is a good boxer. We can't, um, he's not, I'm not his biggest fan. And a lot of people dislike him, find him boring to watch. And I'd probably tend to agree with them. But I do, you have to admire the guy's boxing ability, you know, slick, southpaw, um, very good footwork, head movement. He's very difficult to figure out in the fights. You know, every guy that's fought him has not really been able to solve that puzzle. So I think Liam Williams coming into this fight has got a massive task on his hand to really try and do that. For me, the best way he could do it is to go from the off, just look look to take Demetrius Andre out of there, you know, really do what he's done in his recent fights, you know, really come forward, bring pressure, bring educated pressure, you know. Don't come in with your head down, um, with your hands down even, um, looking to just, like, be silly, you know, trying to land big shots, because I think that won't work. I think he's got to be educated, you know, take pace himself in the fight. And I think he's really got to put an impact put a dent in Demetrius Andre early and show and get and earn that respect, you know, and that will make it a great fight. If he can win some early rounds and bank some rounds and win, look convincing in the early rounds, that really makes this a cracking fight because I think if the fight Demetrius Andre really establishes himself early, you know, and wins early rounds, I think this could be a long night for Liam Williams and it could potentially be a stinker fight. So I hope that doesn't happen. I think Demetrius Andre is needs to make a statement in this fight as well. I think he can't afford to be boring because he's had too many of those kind of performances. 
And, you know, you hear him and his team, they're calling out uh, Charlo Golovkin, which I think is a bit mad, really, on fight week. You know, you've got to respect Liam Williams. I think that that can actually help Liam Williams. You know, the fact they're overlooking him. I definitely believe his team are overlooking Liam Williams. And I think they're wrong to do that. I think Char- I think Andre is a bit... Um, he, he, he seems, to me, he seems to be overlooking Liam Williams. He seems to be writing him off and saying he's nothing, you know, but... I think then you need to do if he do, if he's not aware of he's not if he's complacent in this fight he's going to find out a harsh lesson you know because Liam Williams will hit him one and he's got potential to knock him out don't get me wrong Liam Williams has a strong puncher's chance in my opinion in this fight he's a live dog in this fight so I'm I'm buzzing for this fight you know I think Liam Williams is going to bring it and hopefully that will that will actually allow Demetrius Andre to show his boxing ability and actually bring a lot more out of Demetrius Andre because let's be honest his last couple of fights have been boring as hell. I think his middleweight run has been pretty poor. He hasn't fought anyone, you know. I think he's a good, great, talented fighter. Don't get me wrong, but he's twenty nine and zero, and he hasn't really had. He hasn't really got a caliber of win, that, or a standout win, a defining legacy win, in my opinion, to suggest like this guy can be a pound for pound fighter or a great middleweight fighter. He hasn't got them wins, and it's mad to say it because he's a two weight world champion. It's a little bit in the Billy Joe Saunders, even though I think Billy Joe Saunders has got more credible wins, of course. But it's in that kind of way. They're missing that kind of marquee name, you know, and I can see why Demetrius Andre would be targeting a Charlo with Golovkin fight, maybe a Maratta unification. He needs a unification fight next because he's had too many poor title defences, you know, like I mentioned, the Keelers of this world and fights like that. He needs to step it up and it, hopefully for his sake, it happens Saturday. But I think Liam Williams, obviously, he's got different plans. And I think if Liam Williams can win, it's massive, you know, for him. I think it's massive for Frank Warren. Frank Warren desperately needs that kind of win for his stable. You know, he's had a few really bad defeats um, for his stable. You know, Dubois losing. Obviously, Joe Joyce, he promotes, but losing his fight. Yard, you know, losing to Lyndon Arthur. Of course, he promotes the other two, but these guys were supposed to be poster boys for Frank Warren, you know, supposed to be the next generation of fighters for Frank. So he really needs a name to really do something like Liam Williams to do something. Obviously, you've got Sonny Edwards in a couple of weeks, but Liam Williams, if he could pull off a shot, I think it would be a shock if he could beat Demetrius Andre and become a world champion, another British world champion. There's some massive fights. And I actually think if, if Liam Williams was to win, I actually think the, the big fights are more realistic for him than Demetrius Andre. You know, I think the Golovkins, the Charlos, Liam Williams probably gets them fights over if Demetrius Andre wins. Because I think Demetrius Andre, you know, his style isn't really fan friendly. It's not exciting to watch. It's a difficult night's work for anyone. If you fight him, you're going to be in, a, in for a long night because he's he's so awkward, you know. He's he's tough to beat. He's always slippery, you know. He's he's a he's a nightmare to fight. So he's a niggly fighter. So it's a very tough night. And I think GGG, um, Charlo, they just don't. I don't think they both see it as viable. You know, he's not a big name either, uh, Demetrius. He doesn't sell himself Andre. So. Yeah, I can see why he's getting avoided. I can see why people aren't fighting him, to be honest. I don't think he's getting avoided as such. I just don't see people see it as viable for the money they're getting offered. I think people would need to be offered massive money to fight Demetrius Andre. But going back to the fight, what I actually think happening, I think it's very difficult for Liam Williams. I'd love to see Liam Williams do it. I really would. I think he's a good fighter, really come up, like I say, most improved in Britain. But for me, there's just levels in this fight for me. I think Demetrius Andre, slick southpaw, um, very awkward, good footwork, you know, doesn't get hit much. I think um, I think Liam Williams is actually suited, is, is tailor-made for um, Demetrius Andre. You know, his style come forward, pressure. I think Demetrius Andre is proven in certain fights, you know, to Lecky and things like that. He can fight on the back foot comfortably. comfortably. So that's a worry for me with Liam Williams. So I just think that the, Liam Williams, I think as much as he's improved, I don't think he's fought a slick southpaw in any of his fights coming into this, you know, I think it's a completely different beast is fighting. And I think Demetrius Andre will do what he has to do to win the fight. My prediction is I think Demetrius Andre wins on points. I think he'll win this fight on points. I wouldn't be surprised if Demetrius Andre could maybe get him out of there late, you know, a ninth or 10th round kind of stoppage. But I think this has got Demetrius Andre written on points for me. I'd be, I'd be very shocked if I'm honest, if Liam Williams can pull this off. But I'd, I'd probably want, I want Liam Williams to do it. So I'd be very happy if he does pull it off. I'd be glad to be wrong because it'd be another British world champion. And I think, I think in terms of the middleweight division, I think it'd be more exciting if Liam Williams was to win um, over Demetrius Andre. So we wait and see. But my prediction is Demetrius Andre on points, unanimous decision. If any of you guys have an opinion on this fight, if you think I'm wrong, 
leave your comments below. I'm very interested to see what all you fans think of how this fight um, plays out. Because I think it's it's a lot of people have different opinions on this fight. I hear a lot of people, a lot of Brits in particular, are backing Liam Williams quite hard on the knockout. Obviously, in America, I think they're all Demetrius Andre, you know. I'm quite mixed on it. I'm quite in the middle, you know. I, I can see both, both fighters' benefits and both of their flaws and where they can be exposed, you know. I think it's, 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 it's a good fight, you know, on paper. It's, it's kind of a 50-50 tie. I, I do think Demetrius Andre is a favourite, though. And, yeah, I think he'll win on points. Unanimous decision. I, I think Liam Williams can win some rounds, but I think it, I think majority, obviously, Demetrius Andre will win. That's my prediction. Demetrius Andre on points. Like I say, comment below your predictions. All right, guys, take it easy. HM Boxing, I'm out.